My name is River Karpani. I'm from Rakan and Point Piers, and my language group is Nanangeti and Naranga. Hi, I'm Cheyenne Bishop. I'm from Salisbury High School. I'm an Aboriginal Queenslander, and I'm Torres Strait Islander. My name is Shaquille Karesis. I'm from Portugasta Secondary School. My people are Adimatna, that's language, and uh, Arabana from Kupiti. Hello, my name is Andrea. I'm Warungu from Yelata, and I go to Windsor Gardens Vacation College. I'm Kane Wilson, Madam Jetty from Riakin, and I go to Windsor Gardens Vacation College. My name is Joshua Kutzen, I'm a year 12 student at Salisbury High. My people are from the Naranga and Nabinjay Nation. My name is Paul Vandenberg, I'm part of the Wirrungu people uh, from the west coast of South Australia, so from Sejuna and Kiniba. My family groups are the uh, Millers, Wares and the Wombats. I'm the Aboriginal Employment and Engagement Officer for the Port Adelaide Football Club. The Aboriginal Power Cup uses football as a vehicle to engage students to get them either job ready or further education ready. This year we're going to see nearly three, over 300 students in the program. Um, it started off with about 120 in the first year, so we've really grown in a short space of time. I think initially it was a, an engagement uh, retention program for Indigenous students, and I think it's grown to that where we, we're comfortable with where we're at, where we're at with um, the retention of students in schools to now we're looking at further education and employment. So this year's Aboriginal Power Cup program, the theme of it was, was transition and personal identity. So we're, we're talking about that transition to either further education or careers, um, and then also looking at their personal identity, their cultural identity about who they are, where they come from. So to become the oldest surviving culture in the world must mean something pretty special and pretty good and that's what I want you guys to recognise because that is really significant and that talks about so many, so many positive words about us as people, that we're resilient, that we're strong. I guess when I started in the program um, nearly two years ago and I started doing school visits, it was pretty clear that unfortunately some of our students or, um, didn't have a lot of information or knowledge of their own culture and identity. And I think the more I've worked with students, you know, in a mentoring role, I found it's really important that they do have an understanding of that and actually knowing who you are as an individual person before we start thinking about life after school or life in the workforce, we wanted them to actually embrace who they are and work out who they are and also get them to ask the right questions, you know. So when you go back home, who do you need to go and see to ask more questions about your culture, about your identity? This is what we're going to do now as an exercise. We're going to put it back on you. To introduce yourselves to us and tell us who your mob are or if you don't know who your mob are where you were born or where you think your family comes from all right at the start of the year they're pretty much from day one of the school year they get, they get straight into it and every two weeks basically a task is due there's a guernsey design there's a polo design there's resume building, you know, they have to provide their team sheets, um, the appointments like who's their mentor, who's their photographer, who's going to be their coaches on the day. So there's a variety of activities that they, that they have to work in the classroom with. By the time they come to the carnival, they should have already a certain amount of points allocated to their team already. And then there's points allocated at the carnival, which include the football games, um, the careers expo, um, the cultural dance part of things. It's, it's giving kids the access to, to tap into other services like TAFEs or universities. We, we obviously do use football as a tool, but really we're trying to create a program here that's really holistic and, 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 and covers the Aboriginal side of things, the Aboriginal cultural side of things with history, language and identity. I really felt good because I was good coming this morning, but it's really good when you can come out here and see all the things that the kids have been involved in, you know, and what they're going to be involved in. It's a pity that it didn't start years ago. Uh, it helps us out like with our skills, like being social, talking to other people, and then just interacting with one another. It's, it's a good experience. I've learned a lot about teamwork. I'm learning a lot about my cultural background, and um, the Korea Expo has really helped me um, experience what I want to be when I'm older. I'm definitely going to uni, and I've found a scholarship that would be good for me when I get to uni. Uh, this is the third time I've done it and I like coming here to meet new people and 
good idea of where I'm going to go after school. It's just a great atmosphere around the, around the Oval. All good people here to meet and everything. Yeah, happy to be here. Port Adelaide Football Club has had a real proud history of, of its Indigenous players. So we, we engage the past players as well as the current players to actually use, that, use them and put them at the front of this program and tell students that they're coming to your school to spend time in your community. So we're hoping that, well it has, it's been really effective with that approach and I can see this, you know, the students actually really get excited by having you know, a Chad Wingard or a Daniel Pierce in there but then, then again you can just, they get just as excited to have Gavin Wanganeen or Byron Pickett or Daniel Motlop. I think that's the real key for us is to be able to have the, the Port Adelaide Football Club as a brand to be able to, to engage the community and the students. Yeah, it's been uh, really helpful because um, it's like my last year of high school and it's helped me open my eyes of what I want to do after school. Well, it's good, I mean, getting together with the team and sorting out like all the songs, the guernsey design and all that. It's, it's sort of fun for all of us and all the kids really enjoy it, so yeah. Well, it's helped me come to school more because I didn't, I didn't come that much and it's made me be more in a, in a team and teach me how to play football. Oh, it's about everything really, becoming a leader, helping others, staying in school, um, supporting each other, everything really. Oh, I think it's great. I wish everyone could have the opportunity because it's a really great program. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I, wanted, uh, I, wanted, I can't wait till next year. I think the reason why the Aboriginal Power Cup program works is because we're creating a holistic program here. It's not a fly in, fly out type of situation. You know, we actually are here for the long run. Um, we're trying to work with students for three years and I just think it takes the program to another level. Um, and the students really thinking about themselves, you know, as an individual person and then their, you know, their family, their community, and then what is it gonna, what am I gonna do next in my life? Just to be, be able to say, you know, you know I've helped one person um, you know, finish high school, let alone the hundreds that join the Power Cup program and hopefully continue on through. It's just, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's just a great thing to know that you, you've sort of helped been a part of that.